Hi, I'm Allie Dosdell for We Are Memory Keepers, and today I'm going to show you how to create a fun birthday gift bag using your Template Studio Starter Kit. Now, there are other instructional videos you can find how to create gift bags, and it shows you how to use one piece of poster board to create your gift bag, but today I'm going to show you how to create a larger gift bag using two pieces of poster board. Now you can get your poster board at the grocery store or office supply stores or school supply stores or you can also purchase some de beautiful designer um, poster board from We Are Memory Keepers as well. And that just makes your projects look fantastic so be sure to check that out. So if I look at my instruction booklet, we're going to make the 10 by 5 by 13 gift bag. And that tells me that I need to cut two pieces of poster board at 16 by 16 and a half inches. So I've already gone ahead and cut one and prepared that one. And I've cut this one, but I'm going to show you how to cut the notches at the bottom and do the score lines to create the bag. So you're going to want to line your paper once it's cut down here at one inch and then you're going to put it flush with the bottom of the cutting mat. Then you're going to grab your gift bag cutting template and this is just going to go right here at zero where that little white arrow is and we're going to press those into the holes so that doesn't move. Then we're going to grab the cutting blade, that's the gray one, and we're just going to line that up in the guide there and we're going to cut a notch here at the bottom. Okay, now we're going to move this over to 10. And be sure when you're ready to cut again that you make sure that paper is lined up at 1 and flush at the bottom. And if you've got our gift bag punch board, you will notice the shape is starting to look familiar with what you do with the punch board. Okay, so we're going to move this over to 15 now. And all of these measurements that I've cut on are found in your instruction booklet. So it's really easy to know what you're doing. And we just need to cut once here at the end. And then we're done with the notches. Now we're going to create some score lines. And we're going to do a horizontal score line. So we're going to get our B and C guides and put those together. And back in our booklet, we can look and that'll tell us we have to put it at 18 and a half inches. So the little white arrows here on my guide are going to go right into the holes at 18 and a half. Then I'm going to pull out my scoring blade. And you're always going to want to put your blade on the outside of the part of the guide that has the arrow on it. So that'll be up here. And we're going to hold it in place so it doesn't move. So you get a nice straight line. Okay. Now we need to make some vertical score lines. So we're going to swap out the C guide and put in the A guide. Now back here in my booklet, it tells me we are going to put it at 2, 12, and 14 and a half. And we're keeping this paper here lined up at 1 inch and flush with the bottom. Okay. You'll notice that these score lines are going right where those notches are that we cut earlier so that you can fold those flaps on the bottom in. And again, just be sure to hold your template in place as you score and cut. And this measurement here, the 14 and a half, that's going to create the um, fold on the side of the flaps that folds inward to make it a nice bag. Now we've got a little extra piece down here. We're just going to snip that at an angle. You can also snip the top here at an angle if you'd like to create a little tab, but I'm going to skip that step. That's optional. So we're ready to assemble the bag. We're going to fold the bottom flaps inward. And we're going to fold most of the other folds inward as well, except for that side fold, we're going to do that outward. I'm going to take my two pieces. I like to do this way. I put one on top of the other and I'm going to grab a piece of tape. Now you're going to want to make sure that you've got a really strong good adhesive. I like to use this red double-sided tape. It's really powerful and it will hold that bag together nicely. I'm going to put this tape right here on this tab. Whoops, 
There we go. And then I just pull this side on top of the other one and just line it up nicely. And smooth it out so it stays. Then we'll flip it right over and do the same thing on the other side. And then just line this up, just like we did with the first one. Smooth it out. Now we're ready to fold in the flaps on the bottom of the bag. We're gonna start with the side flaps first. that flap and then we'll just put a piece of tape right across the top of the last flap and then we'll just kind of make sure everything's straight and even and I like to flip my bag over and just press down on the inside to make sure that tape is really secure there's your gift bag, that's the basic idea. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get a little decorative with this, and I'm gonna show you how to add some eyelets to the holes, just to add a little finishing touch. I like the way that looks. So I'm gonna use my crocodile, and there's a kind of a fun trick that you can use to make sure that these holes are nice and straight. Sometimes I like to get out my ruler and measure things carefully, but in this case, there's a really easy trick to this. So on your crocodile, we're gonna use the large hole, there's a little guide right here that goes up to an inch, so you can measure how far in you put your hole. I'm gonna slide that guide right to one half inch, so that it's one half inch down from the top of my bag. Then I'm gonna squeeze together my bag, and you can see here that fold starts to go in. I'm gonna put my holes right next to that fold there, and just line up the top of that guide at the top of the bag, and punch. Same thing on the other side. All right, got a couple of eyelets here. I like to use the yellow just to contrast a bit with the green, but there's all kinds of colors of eyelets. There's shimmer eyelets, there's wide eyelets. You can do any kind of eyelets you want there. And I usually do this laying down. It's a little easier, but I just want to make sure you can see what I'm doing. You're just gonna squeeze, and there you go. It's so easy. And you're gonna do that all the way around to all of your holes. So I won't take the time to do that, but I will show you how to add your ribbon. Once you've got your eyelets in, you're just gonna feed in a, an 18 in, inch length of ribbon. And this is 3 8 gross grain ribbon, but you can use whatever you'd like, twine or anything else. And I like to just tie a little knot at the end there, kind of loose, not too tight. And that's not gonna come out. We'll do it again on the other side. You could also tie the ends together in the back there if you want, but that's how I like to do it. So that's how that's going to hold that bag nice and steady. That's not going anywhere, no matter the weight of what you put in here. Your final touch here is going to be some decorative elements. You're going to just embellish this however you want, and that's what's kind of fun. I used my banner punch board to create some three-inch pennant banners and um, punched holes in them with my ho the hole punch back here. And then I just added some baker's twine, some plastic letters and papers from the Cakes and Candles collection, because it's a birthday bag. But you could get your flower punch board out and put flowers on it. You could put pinwheels on it with the pinwheel punch board. You can put um, ephemera or cork stickers, whatever embellishments you'd like, and just have fun with it. So thanks for joining me. I'm Allie Dosdell for We Are Memory Keepers.